Hi guys, and uh, welcome to another of Sal's musings. The Picard trailer has just hit. Uh, it'll probably be a couple days after that that I've actually aired this. After a bit of a thought process and a bit of editing. Uh, this is just my initial thoughts in the first part of this video. So we open up to Chateau Picard. So, Captain Picard seems to have retired from Starfleet, gone back to his vineyard and started growing grapes just like his brother did before the incident that eventually took his brother and Grant's and nephew's life. And we get an overview of you were our hope, you were our faith, until something broke you. Now... I'm not gonna lie, that that resonated with me a little bit. Like, like we're gonna see an evolution of the character that we've not seen before, where it something pushed him beyond the pale. Something where the horror of what he saw pushed the character to the point where he just had to walk away, and so he retired to a simple life in his vineyard. Considering that he actually saved all of humanity, and by extension the entirety of the Federation due to going back in time and stopping an event from causing some trouble and all the numerous atrocities committed by the Borg you really do have to wonder what the hell happened and I'm really hoping that what we're getting from this is that it's going to be a story arc of pushing past this and overcoming something that has horribly happened to the character and we'll just you know bring hope back into just, just, <laughs> it, it's like basically any of you who ever experienced something horrible or something tragic. But you'd go home and you, you'd watch the next generation and you know, you, you'd know things would be fine. While these ex ideals existed in the world. And that's, if you follow anything that Patrick has done, Sir, sorry, Sir Patrick has done. He really enjoys hearing that from the fans, that you know that his work has had such an effect on people and it's a good sense of inspiration. And I do really hope that what they are doing with this new season is going to live up to that reputation and really embody the ideals that Patrick Stewart has for this. We'll see. I'm hopeful from this tease trailer. I really am. Because I really want to know what he, what Picard is going to say to that question that was asked in that trailer. That that question when the reporter goes, Tell us, Admiral, why did you leave Starfleet? Why? I, it, it's going to be interesting to find out. I, 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 um, this is something I do love about any series that I get into, or any, law, any books, movies, TV. I like to find out the lore of things like... Some of the stuff that I really enjoy about Star Trek is going into the finer details of the technology for the formation of the Federation, which was eventually embodied in Enterprise, with the coalition of planets and how that eventually evolved through and became the Federation. Or even failing that, just the general stories of each character and how they developed, how they progress, and the lessons they learn that life teaches them. Like, there's been some horrible characters that are... Um, you're meant to hate to start with, but as you get to know this character and their story progresses, you truly come to find them quite endearing. It's like, um, like, like in DS9, you are always meant to treat Garrick with a bit of suspicion and on edge. You know, he's, he's the humble tailor, but he's not quite. By, say, for example, um, there's an episode in one of the later seasons in the Dominion War, uh, in the Pale Moonlight. Inquisitor Andy uh, <laughs> really loves this episode. It's like um, there's, there's little bits in that episode where Garrick suddenly goes, well, it's best not to dwell on those sort of things. And you're like, you bloody did that, Garrick. You did that. <laughs> oh, dear. But, you know, he's kind of the sneaky boy who is focusing on the greater goal here, who's trying to end the war, who's trying to save the lives of his own people and the people of the galaxy from a vicious, tyrannical group of changelings who think that they know best for everybody. 
I'm um, getting a little bit off topic there. Um, but yeah, the way they've done this trailer was was really well done. It, it's left just enough to kind of make you think, oh, you know, he's he's gone for the quiet life. But also, but why did he do this? What what, what has happened to him in all these years that has made him want to walk away from everything? Especially considering the man Picard was. He wasn't a man who could be easily pushed or played. It took the ball assimilating and taking everything from him for him to break down. You know, his brother would turn around and go, see? <laughs> Fancy that. My brother is human after all. And then the heartbreak he would make when his, when his nephew would burn to death. It's a horrible thing. And it would challenge everybody, especially during the time the things he was suffering during the Generations movies. You just think, what happened during that rescue mission that made him want to walk away from everything? Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I really want to see where this is going to go, and I'm looking forward to this, especially with some of the controversy that's gone around with Destiny, sorry, Discovery, and a lot of the fan backlash we've had with that. Now, I've watched a few episodes here and there. I didn't really watch season one very much because it didn't interest me. I'm actually going to give that a proper watch at some point and have a think about a lot of things, but we'll, we'll see where we go. Alright, uh, I'm crunchy now after thinking about the trailer for a couple of days. Um, I'm really hoping that with this new series, they remember what the f core focus of any Star Trek series was meant to be. It was meant to not be focused on one person, but on the ship and the crew. And contrary to some rumours that I've heard, I'm really hoping we're not getting Star Trek Renegades Mark II. Star Trek Renegades was an interesting series, but it is by no means something that is comparable to the next generation. On a side note, uh, this is actually replaced in my content, the Game of Thrones Season 8 breakdown I was planned to do with Inquisitor Andy, as he has come down with, as he calls it, Nurgle's Rot. He says he'll be back once he's uh, exercised the demon. In, in actuality, he's got the flu, but considering his name, he does very much like his 40k references. But that will continue once he is recorded. Back on topic. Very Keeping in mind that Patrick Stewart very much wants to recapture a lot of the feelings and effect that, for, that uh, the next generation had on a lot of people. I am hopeful that this is not going to be something that repeats the mistakes made in previous seasons, for example, like with the very first season of Discovery. Mistakes were made where it upset a lot of the fan base. Um, I mean, there were parts of it that I switched off from. Uh, the fact that they redesigned the Klingons yet again was one of them. But I can see past that. Especially considering some of the design changes from the original series and the next generation that they eventually actually incorporated into the story. I wonder if they can do that as well. But we'll see. Now, as for my predictions, I'm hoping this is set in the Prime timeline. And depending on the status of the event that created the Kelvin timeline, the destruction of Romulus and the subsequent black hole that pulled Ambassador Spock and the Narada into the Kelvin timeline, the great Kelvin timeline, whether or not the Picard timeline is going to be going off that, which means we might be getting something that's going to overwrite the story of Star Trek Online, which if any of you have played Star Trek Online, takes on from the Prime timeline, but it takes the Kelvin timeline creation into account and it goes forward, um, and it goes on from there, which then deals into stuff like the Return of the Iconians and various other things. I really believe you do actually visit something to do with Destiny at, at Discovery as well, but I've not actually played that content yet because I've been away from Star Trek Online for a very long time. With the announcement of the Picard, TV series, I may chime back in. Hey, you know what, let's have, a, let's have a quick look while I'm here. So 
So I ain't just loading up the old app there so I can get it have a look looked at, but uh, I'll do that once I finish this video. Anyway guys, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, get a discussion going. Um, if you like what you heard, please consider hitting that subscribe button as that will help me without a great deal with building the channel. Um, as I've said before, I am not planning to do monetizations or anything along those lines. I'm practically doing this content for free. So spreading of word of mouth is going to be a big help to me. Anyway, I will catch you on the next episode of the law of the law videos, or maybe even another musing or gaming video. Take care, law seekers, and have a good day.